Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan. Magandang araw. At this time, we as YouTube creators, alam po natin na tayo ay binibigyan ng deadline hanggang May 31 na isambit ng ating tax information. At kung hindi natin ito magagawa, mapipilitan po ang Google na bawasan tayo ng 24%. It's hindi natin gustong mangyari. Ako po, habang nagsubmit ng tax information, nagkaroon po ako ng problema. Meron po akong error code na natatanggap. And, uh, hiningi ko na po ang tulong ng YouTube service. Willing naman sila. Very very willing silang tumulong. Kaya lang hanggang ngayon, mukhang hindi pa nila alam ko anong solusyon. So, ako naman, being very impatient, sinubukan kong isubmit. Patuloy kong isinasubmit. Kaya lang, it's giving me the same error code. So, kung kayo po ay may parehong problema, so, samaan po ninyo ako at ipapakita ko sa iyo from the very beginning kung saan po nagkaroon ng problema. Okay po? So, unang step natin, we have to log into our Google AdSense account. And go to payments. And then dito po tayo pupunta to manage tax information. Then afterwards, kailangan naman natin mag-log in sa ating Google account. Then, ito po yung una nating makikita. What type of account is your name? So, sa akin, individual. Next question is, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? So, next is select the tax form. So, in my case, I choose W8 Ben. And my country of citizenship is Germany. And then I have to type my tax identification number from Germany. Ang susunod po ay address. So, kailangan nila ng permanent address or mailing address. So, dito, kung resident kayo ng ibang country, kailangan ilagay ninyo. Kagaya ko, I'm a resident uh, in Germany. Pero nasa Spain po ako, so yun yung aking mailing address. Next is tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? Of course, yes. Resident of country claiming treaty with the U.S. Germany. So after choosing the country of residence, we have here special rates and conditions. Meron po tayong tatlong options. So, ang sa akin, services, AdSense. Then, click next. And, i-click din natin yung article 7 and paragraph 1. Then, zero or reduce rate. Then, click natin yung box as a tax resident of the country identified in the tax identity section, the individual identified, and so forth and so on. Then, click next. Ito na po ang lalabas. Meron na siyang error. Bago ko pa ma-click yung document preview, ito na siya. But then, I just dismiss it and confirm that I have reviewed. And type my legal name and check the box yes I am the person listed in the signature section and completing this form on my own behalf then click next activities and services performed in US and affidavit has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the US my answer is no. 
I also certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the U.S. and that any facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the U.S. Due to the status change affidavit, are you providing tax info for a new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously received payments? In my case, I'm clicking, I'm providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments. Then click submit and again, this error. Ang ginawa ko, pinalit ko ulit yung second option. I am providing tax info for an existing payments profile that has previously received payments. Still error. I have done my best. I contacted the YouTube service and they wrote me an email that they have still to relay to their technical man and up to this time, wala po akong sagot. Kaya... I tried again to submit the form and click something else. So going back to where I got the first error, I kupo yung other copyright YouTube Google Play. Then click the box and next. I click lang po bakit other copyright YouTube Google Play. Eh kasi po, may mga video ako na kumakanta ako. So, since wala rin namang uh, claim, walang strikes, kaya lang yung income po doon ay sineshare ko sa may-ari ng songs. So, yun lang. Kaya, hindi siya tinatanggap ng system dahil meron akong copyright. So, yun lang po. At least I'm happy and the problem is solved. So, ayan, makikita ninyo, I have still missing documents at nagsamit po ako ng ID. And then, So, ayan, meron na po tayong verification in progress. And I received an email on the same date. After three days, yan, approved na po.